Okay, this is a quick um, demo on how to use battery for drum programming. Here we go. So you open up a new track, open up battery. When you've got battery up, you insert your drums. So let's just insert a kick. So that'll do it. So Okay, the first thing you do is make sure they've got their own channels. So as you can see down here, there's X amount of channels that have been opened by battery. Um, that setting can be changed in options. Uh, and if you look down here, you can change the audio outputs to however many you like, how many stereo, many outputs, depending on how many your card will handle. Okay, so we've got our kick there. We go to cell where we can see the sample, we can see what key range it's in. So if I've got the keyboard hooked up, I just add a MIDI track. So we've got battery three. Now if I hit C1 on the keyboard, okay, as easy as that. And the op you also make sure that it's set to master or channel one or whatever it is that you have, depending on how you've got battery set up. Got your next cell, got the browser, Let's browse for, what should we browse for? Um, let's go for a closed hi-hat. Let's use that. Now if we go back to cell, now we'll see that it's on C sharp one. So if I play C sharp one on the keyboard, but you see here, it's still coming out of the master. So what we need to do is go down here, change it to three and four. So. Okay. And so on and so forth until you've got however many drums you're going to use. Okay, a neat little trick with battery is, say you've got a, a drum you're like, oh God, it's horrible. Instead of having to right click or go into the browser, so say we've got, we go down here and got that there and but we don't like it instead of having to go through this way and keep clicking if you go back to cell and just go next now that might seem like a, a long way just as long as the other way however I'll show you why it's not you create your little drum loop so C1 it's got our kick so we'll just put a kick in And that's our closed hi hat supposed to be. So, okay, that closed hi hat as it's supposed to be sucks. So let's change it now. This is where this comes into its own. Instead of um, having to go into the browser. constantly having to um, go in here and go, oh, is it that one I want, is it this one I want? What you do is make sure you're in cell, and when it's playing you just go next. Okay, that one's better. Okay, let's go in, program, open hi-hat. So, okay, we need to go to this one, make sure it's got its own channel, so you can have all got their own channel in the mixer, and then just add another couple of drums. Okay, so you've got five drums in that you like. Kick, closed, open, another closed, and a snare. You've gone up here. Somewhere, kick. 
Okay, what key is it going on? Can't hear it. I was expecting it to be on there. So we'll go to snare. Go to cell. Aha. Because we've came down onto the next range. C1, E2, G sharp 3, C5. No idea why that's G sharp 3. It's just do that just to deliberately try and screw with your head, I suppose. But um, what I would rather have is C1, C sharp 1, D1, D sharp 1. And then the next key up, so E. But we'll bring it down to E1. So, we have a snare there now, excellent. So, Tempo, bump up to one forty five, I guess. The worst drum loop you've ever heard, but that's the basics of programming drum loops with battery. Put your kicks, uh, sorry, put your drums in, make sure they've each got an individual channel so that you can. Um, affect them differently on each channel in the mixer and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second you go up here make sure these are directly related to the notes here so C C is C C sharp is there D1 is there, C sharp one is there, and snare is there. Okay, the reason that we give them their own individual channel is so you can affect each individual drum without affecting the other ones. And by that I mean, say, right, let's just name them. Okay, I've made Kick, hi-hat, close one, hi-hat, open one, hi-hat, close two, and snare, which is directly related to... Okay? Now, the reason I've done that is so just to show you how you can affect each drum individually. So, what we do is... Right, what's missing? Hi-hat open is missing for some reason. Ah, okay. So looking at that one, so that was kick, hi hat closed, hi hat opens on the wrong channel. That should be on five and six. That should be on seven and eight. And okay, perfect. Right, so right, quick mix just for um, aesthetic pleasure. Just going to drop all the um, volumes. Press play. Okay, cool. Alright. Say we wanted to add a delay onto this. Now, if, it, if we do it the way I've done it there, giving each one its own individual channels, then you won't affect any other instrument or any other sound that will just be the sound that is on that channel. So, okay, basic. Then you can do just simple panning, so you can have your hi hat. Basic drum pattern and battery, that is it. Cheers. 